all guys ultimate knockout a game available for free for this month's psn store what could this magical beast be well i've had a lot of fun with this game and i'm eager to get into it so your character is a pinkish turd shaped cartoon creature who you can fully customize unlocking new costumes is available by leveling up or spending real money but all of it is purely cosmetical there are no advantages by having different skins thank heavens but what is this strange and colorful game well it's something like a battle royale game with qualification and elimination 60 players worldwide start at the same time and they need to clear the obstacle course to qualify and advance to other rounds it might sound simple and in the core it truly is but since all of you are funneled into completing the same objective there will be collision between other competitors and other players will hinder your progress and stir trouble as they try to grab and hold you in place or just make you fail or they will just mess your run up unintentionally just because they try to hurry through the obstacles the key is that there are a lot of players headed the same way all cluttered together and messing up each other's progress and that's hilarious not only will you fight other players you also fight against the obstacles themselves whether they are rotating beams slippery slopes revolving doors or sliding walls now do not be discouraged by falling and failing do not get angry while playing this game the failure is a big part of it all if you manage to qualify more games are provided as you advance there are about 20 unique mini games in fall guys each randomly selected at the start of every round sometimes you will be put into teams which means that everyone in the team must pull their weight which sometimes is a long shot and you might be disqualified just because your team is a bunch of buffoons or you will run shit out of luck and sometimes luck plays a big role in Fall Guys. Do not be discouraged, I say again. Your character is purposely clumsy and can fall over even when you stumble on the smallest obstacles. And you know... <laughs> and you, you need to know the course and remember your favorite strong points where you can advance more and not be disturbed that much. When enough people have been disqualified, there will be a final round. And you know, there can be only one who can get the crown. There can be only one. Usually the final competition is an obstacle course with a crown at the end, so you need to time that jump perfectly. I have almost won twice. But the final event can also be ridiculous, grab the tail and keep it till the timer rounds out event. I seem to lose those badly every time. Scheiße! But you know, I mean the events are funny and the game itself in its nature is addictive, but also stressful, sometimes angering and sometimes satisfying. But it's set in seasons. There are 40 levels in one season, uh, with 40 rewards. Those can be outfits, uh, patterns, colors, faceplates, uh, theatrics and uh, kudos. Uh, kudos is also a currency in this game, as uh, in Two Point Hospital it was a kudosh, so it's a bit weird. The first season ends on October 6, 2020. After that, well, I don't know, will my progress be zeroed? If yes, then, <laughs> you know, this game is a piece of shit and I will never play it again. Yep, it's confirmed. Your progress will be reset for season 2. Though Mediatonic have not confirmed how long fans will have to wait for this second season to kick off. So there you go. If I can only keep my pointless skins, emotes and colors, and the main level is reset without any extra markings left behind, I will never play this game when the October 7th hits. Still, I need to mention that there were troubles with servers on the first week, and even the second week, and that one thing I hate the most is that when you lose your progress, when the server crashes and you're in the final round and you, you, you receive nothing, you know, that's the worst part ever. And, uh, uh, you know, you know, this just gets me even more agitated than losing itself. For skins and for four skins, you can, uh, you know, spread your wallet. Because this game will gladly take your money. You know, you can, you can buy this and you can buy that, and, you know. But otherwise, it's a fun game to, to play with friends and, you know, to, to see who advances further. I really liked Fall Guys and I enjoyed it uh, most of the time in between agony and despair. I give Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout a 7 out of 10. And I hope that you enjoyed this review. If you did, hit that like, smash that bell and if you dare, subscribe as well. I'm Silly Lamas and thanks for watching. Till next time.